Yellow. Uh, today I'm talking about... Of all things, I became a crow! No! Oh, what a shame. Um... What's there to say? Well... <laughs> it's something. Um... If you haven't seen any of my other videos, the general idea is I'm going to give a rating off the bat, then I'll go into why I gave it said rating. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to go into spoilers, I'm just going to go into slightly more specific reasoning. Uh, so yeah, whatever. Uh, basic rating off the bat. You know, I'm I'm thinking objectively, I would probably give it an 8. But personal preference, 9. I, I, I do enjoy this. And now I'm regretting saying 9, because it is kind of furry bait, and I don't think of myself as a furry. <laughs> um, I'm not a furry, but it's definitely furry bait. Um, <laughs> okay, um, getting into the gist of the series. Okay, so the, the main character, this person, um, she... It, it is an isekai, yes, I know, isekai guy, I do all the isekais, of course. Every time I make a video, it's an isekai. Yes, this is an isekai. Uh, this woman was originally a zookeeper, um, and she really liked the dangerous animals. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, she, you know, plays this game periodically that she knows about, in which just so happens, you know, a couple major characters can turn into wolves. Um, and she ends up... <laughs> Let's just say... Dying to what she loves. <laughs> um, and she's brought into this new world um, as a crow. And hijinks ensue. Um, <laughs> no. Um, yeah, so she's brought into this new world as a crow. She meets uh, one of the relevant characters from the game. Uh, this is that character in like their wolf form or whatever. But when she initially meets them, they do not have access to that. Um, and, you know, she looks like this. She's straight up crow, and that's him, humanoid form. Um, it's, at the start, it's more of like a, they don't necessarily have like a good understanding of each other, but she kind of remembers like, oh, I remember his character design. He had like a crow. So it's implied that she's the crow from the original game. But, you know, a little, a little different, right? Considering there's a human piloting it this time. Uh, she ends up finding, there's like these rocks in the world that allow people to evolve, which I mean, it's not really a spoiler because every cover art has it, but they have her evolve into this, uh, like a humanoid form, but she does still keep the crow form around and switch back and forth, which I will give some props to because a lot of like, you know, became like, oh, I became this or I became that. A lot of those stories they kind of just X out the whole crow thing or like animal thing really early on. Like as soon as they get a humanoid form, they're just always a human. But this one actually utilizes that, you know, both transformations a little bit. And a lot of the story sticks to the crow form, surprisingly enough, um, which, I, you know, I give some props to. I, I can't say it's a bad call. Um, Pretty fun, actually. I, I think like it's it's a little it's a little different, right? Now I'm not going to get into like you know late game stuff, but I want to give general gists of how the story functions. So when she's you know a crow, it's kind of like okay, uh, she's assisting this guy um, in his pursuits, and he cares for her because she kind of helps him out when she's in her crow form, and he's kind of in a dire situation. Uh, she kind of helps him solve problems and, you know, keeps him alive and things like that and assists him. Uh, so he ends up valuing her even before the humanoid form is introduced. So then the humanoid form is kind of like a fun interaction and also like a change in dynamics, I guess. Like when it's a, when she's a crow, I mean, it's like it's his pet. It's a beloved pet, but it's still a pet. But then, you know, when he finds out like, oh, she's a human, I mean, number one, she doesn't really... He, he doesn't really know what her deal is, initially. Um, you'll see it, like, in the first, like, ten chapters. He's contemplating whether or not she's, like, some shape, like, shapeshifted dragon or whatever. Because she seems, you know... You know, understandably so, a lot more intelligent than your regular crow. <laughs> 
So he's kind of like speculating, like, okay, well, I don't, I mean, is this just a crow? Um, so he's not like, you know, 100% shocked by the whole humanoid form, but it is fun to see the reactions and things like that. Um, and, I, and I just genuinely enjoy, like, I, th I feel like her character and the main male lead's character are very... They're not... I'm not going to say they stand on some pedestal of being so unique or whatever, but they are, like, entertaining, I guess. Like, they're, 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 they're done well, and it's, it's fun to see their interactions with each other. And, you know, the more, like, supportive cast, where, like, they're not really hiding stuff all the time. It's more so, like, they're trying to help each other and figure out, like, what can you do to help me? What can I do to help you? And, I don't know, it feels a lot more back and forth. Um... Side characters are relatively forgetful and tropey, I won't lie. <coughs> the main reason I'm giving this a 9, I'm not going to lie, is because this kind of cover art is like is pretty close to the legitimate art in the story. It is super well done. I'm not even going to lie, I love the art. Um, the eyes are always super fun. Um, I, 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 I like how her hair is kind of done like feathers rather than just, you know, hair. Which, I mean, it, it's very visually striking kind of seeing like that, you know, that oilish black surface that you kind of see from her hair. Really visually striking. Um, I, I just, I, I think that is one of the biggest assets of this series. I think the art's like extremely good. <laughs> like, I, I would say without the art, the, like the story itself would probably keep it around like a seven. But because of the art, I'm like encroaching on a nine. Like it's really really solid art i love it um i will say on that note like a lot of these like manhua like webtoon-esque stories they have like oh it's like the chibi art when they're doing something silly which a lot of the time i'm not a huge fan of but I will say, I don't mind the designs for the chibi art in this. I feel like they're not, like, so removed of, you know, personality and texture. Like, that it just feels kind of like a slacking kind of situation. But, I don't know. Like, it's relatively, like, I, I enjoy this sort of chibi art. Like, this, like, you know, very simplified art that to, you know, have some funnier moments. Like, I think it's actually pretty well done. I, I like it. Um... And a lot of this, I'm not going to lie, this is like a, a preference situation in terms of art. I mean, maybe you don't, but I like this stuff. And half the manhwa that you're going to read have chibi stuff in them. They just do it a lot for like comedic elements, just more simplistic drawing. And yeah, I, like, I'm not saying I have any problems with that or anything. It's just, you know, it's a common occurrence. And sometimes the art quality in those is like so... I know it's trying to be simplistic, but it's almost, like, bad in some cases, where you're just like, I really don't want to look at this. <laughs> and, and, listen, I'm not I'm not saying I could do better. I'm just saying it's like, you know, if I'm rating something objectively, I compare it to other things, and typically those are not as good as this one. So I give it some props, even in this area. So, like, overall, I mean, I think, like, the quality of the art, I think, is really satisfying. I like, like, the, the you know, actual use of what she turns into. Um, I think an important thing is if you're going to isekai, you know, have an isekai story where they turn into, like, an animal or a monster of some sort, you have to utilize that a little bit. So, like, you know, she flies. She has some crow, like, instincts, like, to get, like, shiny items and things like that. Or she's on guard because of, like, you know, being wary of certain things. I like that element of it. I think it's pretty good. Um... Now, like, villains in the story are very one-note. Like, I, I, they're, 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 like... Uh, <laughs> um, like, the, the male lead's brother is a villain. He's just nothing. He's a character you've seen a million times. You know, like, the basic, like... Basically, I'm just a bad guy. I'm spoiled. I hate you. You're gonna die. And then he sucks at everything, and the main character's just better. And then you question, like, why did this guy even lose in the first place? Um, now I'll admit, like, they have that whole element of awakenings and stuff, so, you know, there, there's a reason to think, like, okay, well, he had a little bit of a leg up. But it's still, like, eh, eh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, and of course, you know, there's, like, the hidden villain, like, all of the, uh, listen, 
I don't think anyone on this planet can convince me that that's not, you know, a boring played out thing where it's like, oh, the, the, there's a hidden villain that they don't know about. And then, like, you know, eventually they get a little glimpse of what they can do and they find out, oh, man, there's a secret villain this entire time, blah, blah, blah. Like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. OK, yeah. Um, it, it's so played out. So, like, I'm not necessarily like I don't love that or anything. Like I said, if we're just talking story, it's probably like a seven or something. The main reason I rate it so high is mainly my preference for the art, and I also think, like, enjoyment-wise, like, there's an objective storytelling standpoint where you can look at something, you can analyze it, and then think about it afterward, and then rate it. So, like, if you're talking story, you have, like, yeah, I don't know, you, you probably have, like, story, art, and then, like, enjoyment. So, say, I guess. <laughs> um, which... I would say if we're if we're breaking it down into these pieces, story is probably like a six or like a seven maybe at best. To me, I'm I'm putting the art at like a ten. I love the art, and then like enjoyment. <laughs> I, I you know I'd probably go like an eight, which I think yeah I mean. We're, we're ballparking it here. It would, be, it would be somewhere between like an 8 and a 9 out of 10. So like we're talking totals here, like probably 8 or 9, like I said at the start. Where it's, you know, it's it's pretty good. Like I like the art. The story is acceptable. And I am and I enjoy the experience of like the, how the story is given. And I think like all of that comes together to give me about an 8 or a 9 in terms of like quality. Um, now, of course, if you care about one of these elements more, you might, you know, you might rate this lower because you like the story. You don't like, you know, bad stories or okay stories. You like a good story. Maybe you don't care about the art as much as I do. Um, maybe the enjoyment's the only thing you care about. I, I, I don't know what you're like, but I think, you know, this is why I kind of give my reasoning behind things. I mean, this is why I would rate it the way I do. Um... I don't know. I, I think overall it's a really fun story. I would recommend reading it. Um, it's fun, you know, seeing like the main character and the main two characters kind of instantly forming that connection and then seeing them fight against the odds. Like, you know, how are they going to deal with his brother? How are they going to, you know, kind of, you know, come together as like, you know, clearly they have a little bit of an attachment to each other, but how are they going to get to that? Um, now, I think there's like, again, you know, it's not anything special in terms of the story, but I think it's at least fun. Um, and then, of course, the isekai thing. I always have a problem when it's kind of like a pointless isekai, and in this case, I don't think the isekai does a ton later on, but it at least gives a good setup, so I'm okay with the isekai. Because I, I would think it would be weird if there was just a crow that was just, like, that intelligent. Like, that would, be, that would almost be weirder to me than <laughs> the isekai in a fantasy world. Where it's like a crow that like is this like this intelligent. I don't know. Like I I know that crows are pretty smart, but like this would be crazy. <laughs> um, yeah. But I mean, I I think overall I enjoyed it. Um, I think like you know it's one of the few manhwa that actually has some funny moments. Like the art, like the like the comedy actually kind of works. Um, the story is pretty fun. I love the art. Uh, yeah. Um. But it is furry bait. <laughs> it definitely is. I'm not going to lie about that one. Uh, but anyway, yeah. I mean, I think that's all I really have to say. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd appreciate if you could like, comment, subscribe. Maybe let me know if there's another series you want me to react to or read or review or whatever you want to call this. Um, and, I mean, even if I read it before, I, hey, I'll read it again. I don't care. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I'll see ya.